Well, hey there! <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hola, como estas? How are you all? So guys, for today's video, I am going to be doing a full face of my cheapest makeup. This is what it's came to. I ran out of ideas. <laughs> Which is understandable, right? There's only so many chit chat get rid of me that you can do. I'm glad we've figured that out together. <laughs> So I was actually just kind of like wrecking my brain, like what can I do today? What can I do today that might add a little spice to this makeup tutorial? Boom! Cheapest makeup. So basically I went through my drawers and I pulled out with each category my cheapest product. So this is basically just going to be a full face of my cheapest makeup products from obviously face, eyes, lips, etc. And this is the makeup look that I came up with. I just also want to mention that I'm not even joking. Most of these products are all like 79p, a dollar, a pound. They're so good. <laughs> Firstly guys, for my primer, I'm going to be taking this new one from The Body Collection and this is their Illuminating Primer. Oh, it smells really nice. Oh my god. Oh, it smells so good. I think this new primer is like three pounds, so... <laughs> okay, who am I kidding here? This is not working. <laughs> I'm just going to use my fingers. Oh yes. That smells lush. Oh, it smells so good more on. So I like to work quite quick with this new primer as well because I have noticed that it actually dries down pretty quick. It definitely has got like a wee silver touch to it so it kind of, kind of, depends on your skin tone it might leave a wee bit of a white cast because of like the silvery tone of the primer itself. Yeah it just dries down pretty quick so you kind of have to like really work with it pretty quick so you make sure it's really well blended in and you don't have like silver streaks across your face but it's actually really, really nice. It's very, very beautiful for only being a couple of pounds. It's very, very nice. It's even that nice wee primer that you could actually get away with actually wearing it without going in with any concealer or foundation on top if you're just wanting to wear it on a day where you're not wearing any makeup but you're wanting to give your skin just a nice wee healthy glow because it does provide a nice wee healthy glow to the skin but it doesn't look extremely artificial. So then guys for foundation, I actually haven't used this foundation since I first actually tried this in my full face of Shop Miss A makeup and it's their AOA Studio Buildable Satin Foundation. From what I remember, I actually really liked it. I was pleasantly surprised but yet again, like I always say, it went into my drawer and it's never seen the light of day until today again so... <laughs> I think that colours, eh, it's, it's a kick off being a wee bit too dark for me, but it's nothing that we can't obviously fix with a wee bit of concealer, so all good. And then going in with some concealer again, this is from AOI Studio, and this is their liquid concealer, and it's in the shade Porcelain. Okay, what the hell? I know I've tried these products before, but I honestly feel like I'm doing like a full face first impressions again. This concealer. I have also not used this concealer since the Shop Miss Eye video. That looks amazing. That honestly looks so good. I'm gonna put some more on. No, actually I'm not. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. Stop. Stop. Then for some cream bronzer. This is also from Shop Miss A, by the way. It just, it blends out beautiful. It's not patchy and it doesn't lift the foundation that's underlying or anything. It's so, so good. I've honestly yet to come across like a cream bronzer that's shit. 
I actually have a cream blush I want to use. And these wee blushes, I could not recommend these enough. And I don't actually use them all that often and I really should actually um but they're actually from Shein and they're actually within their makeup range and these are the She Glam Clear and Bright Liquid Blushes. I honestly have nearly every single shade although I accidentally bought two of this shade here which is Torrid so I'm going to give it a wee swatch for you but that's the package in there which is I'll just close it for you but it's just absolutely gorgeous so so beautiful and sleek and just like really elegant looking I thought it was just even expensive looking but I think these are like 2 99 couple pounds three pounds but um and then we just have the wee sponge applicator so I'm gonna give you a wee swatch of it first of all so it definitely is like a peachy toned blush but it has kind of like a pinky undertone to it as well so it's kind of like a peachy pink which is my kind of vibe <laughs> It's been so long since I've used this, I don't even know how much to apply, but here we go. And then I'm just gonna blend this out. I'm actually gonna put a wee bit more of this on, but I'm actually gonna put it on the on the brush instead of like directly to my face. Not for any particular reason, like as you can see it didn't lift the foundation up or nothing, but I don't know. Gonna try it this way. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take this wee sponge that I was using to blend in my concealer and just kind of pat around that wee bit because I did find that I like I don't like it whenever my blush is too high, so I like it to be down a wee bit. Fun enough, that's something I've been seeing on TikTok recently. Well, TikTok and Instagram, these makeup videos, and there's a, like a line down their face, and like this side is the right way to do it, and this side is the wrong way to do your makeup. And it's like, who are these people? Since when is there a right and wrong way to do your makeup? I don't know, hear me out, but things like this just really piss me off. Um, like the ones that I've been seeing is like, say this side is like the correct side to do your makeup, and everything is nice and lifted. But here's a thought. Not everybody wants their makeup or their face to look lifted. Like we all have different face shapes, sizes and preferences for makeup. Like not everybody wants their eyeshadow to look lifted. Not everybody wants like a straight looking brow. Not everybody wants their contour like really high up to give them like that really chiseled look. Not everybody wants that. So to say that somebody that's doing it on the other side to say that that's wrong to do that is bullshit. Who do you think you are? Like stop telling people the way they're doing their makeup is wrong. That's wrong people doing that. Like I get it, I watch Robert Wilsh. With him, like he always has this saying like there's no rules to makeup but there's a theory and I completely stand by that. Like there's just, there's no rules to makeup. Like makeup is an expression, makeup is an art and a form of expression. You do what you want, you do what you want, do not listen to anybody, don't listen to me. If I'm obviously giving you some tips and tricks and I'm telling you how I'm doing my makeup or whatever, I'm obviously doing this for my face shape and my preference. I'm not doing it because it's a trend. Well maybe I am. Sometimes I do, yes. <laughs> like I just don't find that anybody has the right to say to anybody else that they shouldn't be doing their makeup a particular way you know what i mean okay my lovelies so the cheapest powder i could find in my collection was the i heart revolution coconut scented vegan powder oh that's a lot mm-hmm <laughs> That's a lot of powder. I'm gonna be taking the Makeup Obsession Fresh Face Setting Spray. This is the one here. Highlight was actually pretty difficult. Um, I actually don't have a lot of, I do have like drugstore highlights um, and obviously luxury, high end, whatever. But it was actually really hard to find a highlight that was like the cheapest. <laughs> But I did manage to get a couple here. So the first one that I'm going to be taking is from Shein and it's their face shimmering powder and it's in the shade 03 Champagne Gold. I can see that I've used this but it was probably in the full face of Shein makeup that I've used it so 
probably haven't used it since. That is so pretty. That is the most beautiful color for my skin tone. So I'm also gonna go in with another wee highlight here and this is from, again, Shop Miss A and this is the AOA Studio Highlighter. <laughs> so basically it's a powder highlighter. And it's in the shade Asteroid? Asteroid? Astro. Astro, Jesus Christ. <laughs> with this wee highlighter, I think it was only 79p <laughs> or a pound or a dollar or something like that i don't know definitely is very very intensely you can see so that's why i like to use that as my second highlight just right at the top of the cheekbones there oh yeah and then for my powder blush i'm going to be taking this wee one from again from shop my side this is the aoa shadow perfect blush in the shade dandy this wee one here absolutely beautiful wee blush I actually reach for this quite a lot actually because of the colour. It's it's absolutely beautiful. And then for my bronzer, this is my favourite of all time. This is the wee Poundland bronzer, this wee one here. And this is the Good to Glow Matte Bronzer and it's the Matte Light 1 shade. <laughs> Now for the eyeshadow. This wee palette is the Self Made palette and it's from just a shop miss Of course I'll link it down below in the description box. I think I'm going to be taking some of these paler blue shades here. I might dip into this darker blue but I think I'm also going to incorporate some of the brown shades in this makeup look as well. I don't know. So I think first up I'm going to take this shade here. This nice wee pale blue shade. I'm just going to try and build this up as much, as much as it will actually, <laughs> just to kind of see, but I'm just mainly keeping it first of all, just in the inner corner, but I'm just really trying to intensify that and just build up that colour. So I'm going to switch to a slightly bigger brush now and I'm going to blend that out. I don't really think we're going to get that any more intense than it already is to be honest, so. Oh, it's actually not that bad, you know. I'm actually pretty happy with that. So now I just want to be focusing on the blend. And I'm just going to blend it just kind of halfway over. I'm going to take a wee clean brush. Just a wee clean brush like so. And just gently, I'm just going to be dusting this and blending it. More so like right the way. Just using really light pressure. I'm stuck between this shade and this shade. I think this shade might be a wee bit too rosy looking. Okay, I'm just going to take this shade here and then I'm just keeping this just right at that outer corner for now. I'm just going to be using my brush to move the shadow to create that winged out shape. So I'm just lightly using the like the tip of the brush. Taking this brush here and going into this shade here just to help me blend this wee bit. Just keeping it at the outer corner, blending it up into the crease, upper brow bone, etc and also winging out. So I'm having no problems with this shade at all, actually. Like, it's going on pretty nice. It's blending out absolutely perfectly, by the way. Well, from what I can see. <laughs> um, the shadow colour is actually really, really nice as well. And yeah, I'm not really having any problems at all so far. And then I'm gonna start to bring this over 
So I'm now gonna start to blend the blue and the brown slightly into each other, but not too much to the point where it's literally completely blended together. But I'm just wanting to diffuse them together to the point where like there isn't such an obvious line in between the brown and the blue. So I'm now going to be taking a slightly smaller wee blender brush. This is a Sigma Detail Diffuse Crease Brush. Going into the palette again. I'm going to take a slightly darker shade. Um, hmm. I'm going to take this shade here. I'm just going to slightly darken up the outer corners. Change my mind. I'm going to switch to this wee brush here. So I'm just going to be patting this shade on. Just like placing it on just to build up a wee bit of intensity. And then going on and blending that out. Oh. Is that patchy? Is that patchy? Oh no. I actually think I'm done with this palette. So I've went and I've got my wee elf eyeshadow palette. This is their, their, okay. This is their bite size eyeshadow palette. And this is the one Truffles. So of course, this is probably one of my cheapest wee eyeshadow palettes in my collection. This is, I think, three pounds, three pounds, three dollars. And I'm gonna take the darkest shade here, the darkest brown really and on a wee angled brush and I'm going to create like a wee winged liner situation. <laughs> I was going to use um, one of these wee liquid liners but I may as well use eyeshadow because I find that it's just more softer and I prefer it. So I'm just going to pat this right out. I have this wee mascara here from, again, <laughs> AOI Studio, um, Shop Masse, and it's the Wisp Enhancing Mascara. And then I also have these wee lashes here, and they're also from AOI Studio, Shop Masse. They're in the style Tracy. They're, they're actually not too bad, but I think I'm going to cut them to make them kind of like wee half lashes. So I'll just give it a wee close up of them. Like, they are very, very nice, but I think I'm just going to cut them to kind of my preference. So. Mascara, this mascara is crap. It's really not good. <laughs> it's it's all right, you know, if you're going to put false lashes on and cover your eyelashes, but it's just not the best. Like the formula of it is quite nice, like it's grand, but the brush is just, I don't know, it's just a basic ass brush. Like there's no shape to it. I'm gonna be using the Toffee Lip Liner from Primark. I am actually, um, so I was actually just looking through my lip collection there. I actually have no liquid lipsticks that are like really, really affordable. But, well, I obviously have drugstore ones. But I have cheaper bullet lipsticks. So the cheapest one I have in my collection is this one from Primark. And it's actually their matte lipstick. And it's in the shade Naked. I'm just going to fix the front gonna fix the front bit of my hair and then that's us Give you just another wee close up of my makeup just before I go. What do you think? I was wearing a full face of like my cheapest makeup, but I just always get really surprised and just really happy that my makeup always looks so good. Like my base makeup, whenever I'm using really affordable products, because it's like, yes, aren't we always on the hunt for like the next best thing that's like a jib for a high end product or 
something that's affordable that does the same job as a high-end product or a luxury product so of course guys all the products that I did use today will be a list and link down below in the description box along with my snapchat Instagram and Twitter so don't forget to go and follow me on all of those thank you all so so much for watching this video I hope that you're all staying safe and well please be kind look after yourselves and each other and I hope to see you in my next video